Hi, I'm Shannon Thickpen, and I thought for the exercise this week, we would do a stretch regimen. Stretching is very important, so whether it's the end of a run or weight lifting program, it's very important to stretch. Here are some basic stretches that you can do at the end of a workout. So this is for the hamstring, sit nice and tall, find your alignment, and extend one leg. Lean forward from your hip. Try to keep the back nice and long. Inhale, exhale, and hold that stretch. Just fill in the stretch in the back of the hamstring. What you want to avoid as best you can is hinging and stretching from the upper body. Try and lengthen from the spine and come forward, even if you don't come forward as far. You could also use a strap to help you. Okay, so that's the stretch for the hamstring. Then, open up and lengthen through the inner thigh, come forward. Inhale and exhale. And you want to hold the, the stretches, maybe three, four breaths, inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, extend the arm inside the leg. Take the opposite arm up and over. Try and stack the shoulders. Feel a nice stretch inside the rib cage. Just opening up there. Inhale and exhale. Then inhale up. Take that lengthened leg and align it with the belly. Put your foot on the mat, align it with the belly. Take the opposite arm, wrap it around the leg. Take the same side arm behind you and twist. So you're looking over your shoulder, but you're staying up nice and tall. You're not leaning back. Stay up nice and tall. Okay. And it, turn your cervical spine. Sorry, I'm turning my head away from the camera. But turn your cervical spine far as you can. Uh, turn your cervical spine as far as you can. Take a couple breaths that way. Then take the leg that's up and cross it over the bottom leg. Now this will look different for different people. You may have that leg. <clears throat> It'll be your right if you're starting with your right side. On top or in front of the opposite leg. Inhale and come forward. Keep both sit bones on the mat as you come forward and breathe. So it may look like that. It may just depending, uh, maybe a little bit wider apart, or perhaps you can keep both sit bones down, come forward with the legs and knees stacked closer together. You should feel a nice stretch in the hip flexor, but it shouldn't lift off of the mat. That's a nice stretch. Then if you want to do an upper body stretch here, sit comfortably, take an arm, give yourself a pat on the back because you deserve it, take an arm up and travel down, then take an arm down, travel up, bring the hands a little closer together for a shoulder stretch. Bring the arms out wide, right arm on top, cross the body, stretch the back of the upper body. Inhale and out. exhale, and bring the soles of the feet together, and your knees may be up a little bit higher, and that's okay. Wherever you are is perfect. You just, that's your starting point. You take a couple of breaths, inhaling and exhaling. Try and stay nice and long. Hinge from the hip, always. Even if you don't go as close to the ground, when you are using really good alignment, you're training, yourself, your muscles, what direction to go into as you become more flexible. So you do a few uh, breaths on, and with the right leg lead, then you do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm telling you, this stretch will take you five minutes. It's a good regimen that you could use every day. I'm Shannon Thickpen. Visit me at ShannonThickpen.com. Have a good week.